All right, so I just want to do a quick little discussion on tail caps. First off, um, all the info and specs that I'm going to list are directly off of Surefire's website as of today. Um, so it's up-to-date information. So first off, this one, this is the Scout Light rear cap by Surefire. It's $62 for the black one, $72 for the FD. Um, and it's not listed as waterproof on their website, which leads me to believe that it's not. I mean, they don't specifically say that it's not, but the next cap I'm going to show you, they specifically list waterproof. So to me, if this isn't waterproof, that should disqualify it as an option uh, immediately because you need waterproofing with electronics. I mean, I'm sure people could make an argument for maybe a very niche application where you wouldn't need it to be waterproof, but I just think that's kind of silly and you might as well spend a few extra dollars to have your your uh, system waterproofed so my experience with it um i was running it with my current light setup which is a arasaka 300 series that's their small one that runs off of a single one two three with a malkoff um e1 ht head and a mod light button and it worked great for a while uh then i started getting flickering issues where i wasn't getting that uh solid constant beam that you need and uh, i was concerned because hop on youtube said he's had a lot of problems with the mod light button and he knows other people who have as well and i didn't really want to switch that out because i i like it i like the ergos of it so i was a little hesitant and then one of my friends brought up hey you should switch out the tail cap first you know process of elimination trying to find the problem that's a cheaper smaller piece you might as well start there so that's what I did, um, got rid of this one and picked up this, which is the DS00 Weapon Light Tail Switch. This one's 120 for the black one and 145 for the FDE. And this one is listed as waterproof, so that's huge. And also it's got, you can see right above the cable port, that's a shroud covering the button. So it does have a backup button in case your cable control system goes down, where this one does not. So if your cable button goes down here, you're just screwed. Um, so that's a huge advantage as well. Definitely worth um, an extra 60 or 70 bucks. I mean, you know, the extra, the backup button is huge. And then just reliability to work if it gets wet. I mean, that's huge. Um, I also had one of my friends who is still running this, um, the basic cap in his system, which he's got a mod light OKW with a mod light button. And he's got this in between them. And he's been having the same problems with flickering and whatnot. And you know it's not the light because Mod Light OKW is uh, pretty solid. So I've been telling him you should switch uh, that he should switch out as well. Because um, I switched out and I haven't had any of those flickering issues or anything. So it's definitely worth spending a little extra money. Um, you know, with stuff like this, obviously everything's expensive, but this is something that could potentially save your life. You know, you want your, you want reliability and durability and everything. Uh, that's what I prioritize with anything, you know, any kit or rifle or whatever. Uh, I'd rather have something heavier um, that's more reliable and durable. Uh, that's just what I prioritize, but... Yeah, um, I just thought this might help some people who are maybe thinking about putting a light together or just just don't know or anything like that. But I definitely recommend staying away from this. Uh, you know, it's it's just not worth it. You know, spend the extra few dollars and and, you know, have that peace of mind. Uh, so yeah, um, I recommend this for sure. The DS00, haven't had any problems so far. I know other people who have ran it and it's run great for them.